Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $108,997.44. In the past year, I am up $36,994.06. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $16,810.68. Today was a mostly red day for me. I was down $787.11 during the day. After hours, I am up $96.63. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, I am down $165. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $32. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $14. I'm selling Delta Airlines $49 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $8. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $811.98. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $256. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $63. Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $1,203. I have $47, $48, sorry, $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,700. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return $3,926. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.18. My average cost $185.26. My total return $275.93. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.88. My average cost, $6.12. My total return, $11,289.95. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $96.25. My average cost, $86.35. My total return, $3,961.95. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $155.88. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, $137.51. Delta Airlines is at $50.80. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, $28.04. This is a margin account. My margin total is $103,994.23. My margin used is $77,077.46. My options collateral is $12,000. This leaves me with 
$14,916.77 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $42,268.13. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest I'm paying is $9.57. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So in my last video, I talked about potentially putting my buying power towards some new positions and I have done that. So my buying power, as you can see, last time I said I had 93,000 in buying power. And as you can see, now I only have around $15,000 in buying power because I took that money and I put it towards uh, a lot of different positions. So one of them being Amazon. So I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. I bought 300 shares of Amazon back. And I'm lucky because Amazon went down today, so I was able to get it at a cheaper price. So I bought the 300 shares of Amazon and I'm choosing a strike price of 185, which is below the current price of 186. So if Amazon goes below 185, then I'll just keep my Amazon shares and I'll just collect the premium. So. Yeah, market value 1,620. So if it really does go below 185, I'll be making, you know, over 1,600 bucks. Um, for my iron condor on Amazon expiring on the 18th of October, it still is within the range. It's above 140 and below 200, which is what I want. So as long as it stays this way, it'll be fine. But uh, if it breaks past either way, then we're going to have the same situation as McDonald's again, but not really because I don't have that many, like I don't have that much money in this iron condor as much as I did with McDonald's. So hopefully things will turn out okay, but we'll see. Delta Airlines. So this is another new position. I bought, I'm going to say, how many shares? Was it 300 shares or 400? 400. So I got 400 shares of Delta Airlines today. And I chose a strike price of $49 for my covered calls. And $49, again, is below the current price of $50.80. So if it stays above $49, i will just make a small amount of money from uh, doing this covered call. Um, and if it goes below $49, I keep my shares of Delta Airlines and market value right now is 1160 so I'll get you know more than a thousand dollars from uh, this covered call and then keep my shares if it goes below 49 at expiration Disney um, I chose the right price of 95 this is in it I just added to the current position I had already because I was selling Disney $95 covered calls anyways um, using my leaps as collateral my well it depends who you ask if it counts as leaps or not but my disney 70 dollar call expiring in the end of 2025 i'm selling some of these against that but then i also bought shares of disney as well um to sell these covered calls and again another one where i chose a strike price that's below the current price so for Disney, I chose a strike price of 95. That's below the current price of 96. So again, same situation. If Disney stays above 95 at expiration, I end up making a small bit of money overall um, from the covered call. And if not, if Disney goes below 95, then I keep my shares of Disney. And look at this market value 2520. So I'll make. Um. At least two thousand dollars i think well total return is down 800 bucks right now so who knows um overall maybe i'll make around at least 1500 at the end of the day we'll see um as we get closer to the expiration date we'll see a clearer picture of what our profit and loss is going to be but um that's one of my positions right now sofi this should surprise nobody of course i'm doing 
covered calls on SoFi, and this time I chose a strike price of $8. This is the only one where I chose a strike price above the current price. SoFi is only $7.88 right now, and I chose a strike I chose a strike price that's above $7.88. Not by that much though. $8 not too far away from that, but yeah, I did choose a strike price that's slightly above the current price for SoFi. And lastly, this is another new position, Target. I'm doing covered calls on Target. I bought only 100 shares of Target today at an average cost of $154.50. So I've made a little bit of money already just based on the stock price increasing from when I bought it. But on top of that, I am doing covered calls as well. So I chose a strike price of 150 which is below the current price of 155 uh, for Target. Now, if it stays above 150, again, I'll make very small amount. I, I, I don't even know how much. I, I think like if I did the math, it's only like a little bit above 1% or something. Uh, I'll have to check, but yeah, I only make a little bit of money if it stays above 150 um, overall from the covered call. But if Target goes below 150, then I keep my shares of Target. And let's see. I think uh, average credit was 645, so 645 bucks. Not bad, not bad. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. There's three weeks left until the expiration date. So end of this week is the fourth, end of next week is the 11th, and then the week after will be. 18th uh, for that Friday. So about three weeks to go until these all expire. That's a huge chunk of my portfolio. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a bunch of my positions expire all on the same day, October 18th. So we'll see what happens till then. But I decided this time for a bunch of my covered calls to choose strike prices that are already in the money so I'm gonna make at least a little bit if it stays above the strike price and I'll keep my shares and I'll make more money uh, from the covered call at least um, overall I might be losing money but who knows uh, only time will tell right we have three weeks until these all expire so I'll keep on making more of portfolio updates to keep everyone updated but for now this is my plan these are all my positions um that i got into today so new positions we'll see how it goes in the next three weeks all right that's it for this portfolio update i hope you guys enjoyed watching this if you guys like this type of content please make sure to like this video and subscribe and i will keep on making more of these videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye